And at Smart Things, what we aim to do is we aim to be an open platform for the Internet of Things. So we work with hundreds of devices on our platform that we support, as well as a lot of third party providers, including Nest, Echobee, Hue. Um, we integrate with not only Zipi and Z-Wave protocols, but Wi-Fi devices as well. Being a lead on the platform reliability and performance team, the biggest value that it gives me directly is visibility. So one of the things that we have is a bunch of different dashboards that show us metrics all over the platform, including executions, errors, top smart apps or devices that people are using so that we can track trends over time to see what the most popular apps and devices are. That helps us to preemptively scale up the platform or deal with um, load issues that might arise because of that. And not only that, we get a lot of value from other parts of the org, including customer support, who gets a ticket, and then they can search that user in Sumo, find the error, and then put that stack trace in a ticket and assign to a developer. Also, we do a lot of stuff with product, because product, they want to know what are the most active use cases that people are using it for. Like, what are people coming to smart things for? Do they have Hue lights or Amazon Echoes, or what are they, what's the big draw, or what's the most active things people are using? So some of our dashboards show the top 10 smart apps or device types or use cases that people are installing on our platform, which is heavily used by product, as you can imagine, to uh, track maybe for top apps. We want to add more functionality, or if things start to trend downward, we want to know why, and we can fix issues or um, problems that maybe are making those you know, not as popular as they once were. We use SumoLogic across a variety of parts of our organization, uh, including customer support, um, developers themselves. We have a lot of product dashboards as well for trending smart apps or device types, as well as even, we, uh, we call them, uh, I guess I call them exec level dashboards. So maybe it's a, a bunch of metrics that we want to add a, a big Sumo parse for and boil that down to like a pass fail or good, great, um, failing type of metric. So we'll just show a panel that would expose all those metrics, boil it down to simple terms that anyone can understand, and people can follow those dashboards daily or trending over time to keep a pulse on the stability and performance of the platform. One of the biggest value adds that Sumo has had that no other product in the space has had for us has been the adoption rate. So we have over 260 employees, and we have over 250 Sumo accounts. That means we have 90, 9, 95 plus percent of our users are actually actively using Sumo. So like I said, across all of our orgs, all of our functions, we have heavy, heavy super users as well as just daily active users that are doing searches, um, constantly looking for different data that they can mine and pull out uh, whatever value for their context or team that makes sense for them. So adoption rate has been huge for our org. Our customers and our community is really the heart of smart things. That's what the platform is all about, is how do we identify problems quickly so that we can resolve them so that there's mitigated impact to the platform and their use of our system. So if we can identify those as early as possible, remediate them before there's ever an issue, and sometimes even before they notice there's a problem, that's ultimately the goal. So we have a lot of dashboards that track latency over time, exceptions over time, even particular users if they start trending in errors so that we can reach out to them or fix them uh, quickly.